Hello, you're watching RT International with me, Rosanna Lockwood, live from Moscow. Thank you for joining us. Now, the Russian President Vladimir Putin has given his impressions of Donald Trump following their meeting on the sidelines of the G20 summit. Speaking to the press on Saturday, he praised the US leader and his approach to their talks. Trump and I have established a relationship. It may sound strange, but Trump in real life is completely different to when he's on TV. He is very businesslike and easy to talk with. I think if we continue to work together in the way we did yesterday, we'll be able to restore relations between the US and Russia and bring cooperation between our countries to a new level. Two different Donald Trumps. You heard it right. That's how the Russian president puts it. But Mr. Putin met only one Donald Trump in that blue room on Friday. And as we found out from Rex Tillerson, there was some positive chemistry between these two men. There was so much to talk about. All these issues, uh, just about everything got touched on to one degree or another. And I think there was <clears throat> just such a level of engagement and exchange, neither one of them wanted to stop. Uh, several times I, I had to remind the president people were sticking their heads in the door, and I think they even they sent in the first lady at one point to see if she could get us out of there, and uh, that didn't work either. Well, if that blonde man who spent more than two hours talking to Vladimir Putin was the real Donald Trump, then there is potential for the long-awaited political thaw, says Vladimir Putin. Going back to the many issues that the two presidents discussed, of course, they spent a while talking about Syria, which resulted in the announcement of a breakthrough ceasefire in three districts of the country. At the Russian president's press conference, we heard him call the deal a giant step. And it also turns out that the agreement had been negotiated not only by the U.S. and Russia, but also by Israel and Jordan. Well, when it comes to the American media, it seems that they were mostly worried about whether their president would put pressure on Vladimir Putin over allegations of Russian interference in the U.S. presidential race. 